FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination presents The High Road with Keith Warren. We hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has a country like this. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. How's Sam doing? Good, Keith. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. We're driving about an hour up the road, pulling to deer hunting paradise. Woo, I'm glad you got the heater on. It's Christmas season in the north woods of Michigan, everybody. If you want to know where I am, well, it's simple where I am. I'm at the finest hunting lodge in North America. I'm at the Legends Ranch, and it's snowing outside like crazy. It could not be more beautiful. And we're heading out right now to check zero on the rifle, and we'll get our hunt started in the morning. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this loaded up. You know, I've been using this rifle. This is a 300 Win Mag made by Legendary Arms Works. And I've been using it all season long and uh, taking down literally, I don't know how many animals with it. I love this rifle. And one thing that I want to do is I want to give, uh, I, I want to give a name to every one of my good rifles. And this rifle right here, I want you to help me give a name to it. And so if you would, get on my Facebook page and let me know what you think I ought to name this thing. Because I tell you what, when I pull the trigger, something goes down. Right now what we're gonna do, we're uh, 100 yards away from the target. It is snowing like crazy, I love it. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a shot and just see where it is. Uh, we'll get the hunt started tomorrow, but right now it's time to make sure the gun's still zeroed in. But if you'd help me name this rifle, I sure would appreciate it. right there. All right, it looks like it's dead on. Okay, folks, again, I need you to help me name my rifle. It's a 300 Win Mag made by Legendary Arms Works. And I need to have a name. So if you go to my Facebook page right now, and if we choose your name is the name that we're gonna name this guy right here. What we'll wind up doing, heck, I'll send you a whole case of Tannerite. I'm Sam Reed with Legends Ranch. It's the first week of December, and we are very excited to have Keith back in camp this week. It's snowing out like crazy. It's the first big snowfall of the year. It's the tail end of the rut, and this snowfall that we're getting can just make anything happen. We got Keith's rifle all dialed in and zeroed. We're gonna start the hunt first thing in the morning and hopefully knock a big buck down. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx. 10X high performance hunting gear. Legendary Arms Works. Sightmark. Supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. And Tannerite. The High Road will be right back. I started thinking about it over the last, well, close to 20 years. I've hunted Legends Ranch, I don't know how many times. And it's always been an absolutely beautiful place. But on this hunt, well, the weatherman has said that uh, we got some snow coming and I hope he's right. Now we got some sunshine now, so I don't know if we're gonna have snow later on in the hunt or not. But right now, let me tell you, the snow has made a beautiful ranch, the most beautiful ranch I've ever been to in my life. I'm Robert Sergi, the ranch director of Legends Ranch and it's Christmas season. This is the time of year we're wrapping up the season and we're glad to have Keith back. Every one of our hunts is guided and this week, Keith is hunting with Adam, who has been guiding for us for about seven years. 
My name is Adam, and this week I have the pleasure of guiding Keith. A couple months ago, Keith came up here with his daughter Maddie, and we had a great time. That was October, and since October, well, the leaves have fallen, and old man winter is setting in. And I come back, and there's snow on the ground, and it is cold. And the deer, well, the deer are just as big, just as beautiful, just as plentiful, and now it feels like hunting weather. It's the second week of December up here, and the first rut is over, but with this weather coming in this week, we're expecting the second rut to start anytime. The first set Keith and I went to was called Island Blind. There's a moat going all the way around. We need a bridge to cross it. And you can see about 1,700 yards there. It's the furthest place you can see on the property. I've never sat in this stand before. This is what they call the Island Blind. And this is a really pretty spot. Island Blind is wide open. You can see a long ways, but the challenge there is the grass. If they're laying down, you're not gonna see them. You gotta wait till they stand up, and then it's even tough to see them then. quick this time of year the days are so short and uh, and so far the deer activity it really has been slow uh, really surprising for me too because we had a good amount of light snow last night and I would have thought that the deer would be moving but they just didn't move this afternoon A lot of people that come here have hunted on hunting preserves all over the world, and it's for that reason that they've chosen this place. But some of the people that come here have never hunted in a hunting preserve before. And it's interesting to hear what they have to say after they've been to Legends. My name's Tim Chinchor, I'm from Central Florida. Uh, I own an electrical contracting firm. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. The place is amazing. I brought my wife. Uh, she really enjoyed herself. She really relaxed, you know, pampered, well taken care of. It's not just um, coming here, shooting a deer, and, and, and that's the end of it. It's the whole experience. Great guides, food's fantastic. Three meals a day that you would die for. And uh, looking forward to coming here again, and many more times. in Texas very often. Thank goodness. <laughs> it's cold. That's a pretty buck right there. You can just tell he's young. Boy, but he's got a pretty frame. Late risers this morning. If you're looking to go roughing it someplace, and I mean someplace where, I mean, you gotta really dig down deep to really wanna get out of bed in the morning to go hunt, don't come to Legends Ranch because when you come here, you're not gonna believe it. You're gonna wake up and they're gonna have you a great breakfast and hot coffee and everything and they're gonna take you and put you in a really nice, comfortable stand. And afterwards, you'll come back in and they'll cook a wonderful lunch. The lunch is a big meal. On the wall, there's gonna be a little placard up there telling you what lunch is gonna be. You're gonna be able to sit and you're actually gonna be looking forward to it while you're sitting out there in the stand. After lunch, a lot of people wind up taking a nap. I mean, this time of year, the days are kind of short. And so what we want to do is we want to come in and eat lunch and get right back out in the stand. That way we have as much time in the stand as possible during these short days.
The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Pulsar, Nemo Arms, Legends Ranch, the entire line of Food Saver Game Saver vacuum sealing systems, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back. Tannerite Binary Reactive Rifle Targets presents viewer feedback. All right, this one comes to me. It's a snail mail. It comes to, uh, to me from a lady by the name of Pam. She's from Illinois. She says, uh, hey, Keith, I'm new to hunting, and I've been watching your show to learn as much as I can. I've heard you say, it's pig 30, and it's deer 30 several times. What the heck does that mean? Uh, Pam, that's kind of just an old saying hunters do, at least the hunters I hang around with. That means like it's like in the next half hour, something ought to happen. You know, half hour before sunset is a time that most animals start moving. So as things start, the sun goes down, it gets a little bit darker out there, it gets pig 30 or it gets deer 30. And that's what it's all about. If you've got a question and you want me to answer it here on the show, make sure to get a hold of me on a Facebook page. Just write it down. And if I answer it on the show, I'll answer it on the show. <laughs> The stand that we're going to this afternoon is going to look mighty familiar to me. The reason why is because two months ago I was here with Maddie. That's my little girl. I brought her up here to Little Legends Ranch and she busted a giant buck out of it. So we're going to go back over there and see what happens this afternoon. So there. Got it about three hours before dark. Slid in here and we're going to see what happens. You know, we always hit the blind and we're expecting a lot of action. And uh, even at a place like Legends Ranch, they can't cue the deer to come in worth a darn. Nobody can. It's for that reason it's called hunting. But you get up early, you go out there and you, uh, you hunt smart, you're quiet, you're patient, and you're waiting. And sometimes, sometimes, well, the deer just don't read the script and they don't show up. And that's the case here. You know, we sat out and uh, we saw deer every sit, but sometimes we didn't see very many deer on a sit. And then there's times where it's just totally the opposite. Somebody told the deer, go on out there and start showing yourself. The wind is howling, man. And then what the man says, there's a storm coming and it feels like it too. They're predicting a lot of snow. We can see the bucks and the does back there in the brush, but with the second rut just kicking in, they don't really want to feed, so they're not coming to our field. So getting a shot through this brush is going to be really tough. There's something going on back there in that brush. I can see an occasional antler back there, but I really can't tell. There's got to be a doe back in there that's hot. This weather's got the boys acting frisky this morning. Holy smokes, look at that buck right there. Look at him. The man just walked in. Holy smokes, look at him. Good gosh. I don't want to take that shot right there. Holy smokes. He's down in a ditch. Look at that. I cannot believe it. He's right behind all that brush. I can't do it. I got a dead steady rest. He just won't give me a shot. Okay, come on. Come on now. Stay on him. He's behind that tree, isn't he? That's what's going on. There's a doe back in there and those bucks do not want to leave her alone. I can't take that shot. He's way back in there. Yeah, too much brush. That's all right, as long as we stay put, we're good. I've been seeing a lot of beautiful animals. And then all of a sudden I saw this deer. And I want that deer. The problem is, he doesn't want to go home with me. I'm sitting here looking at him moving in and out of the thick, heavy cover. I watch him rubbing on trees, making scrapes, but I don't have a shot. And so I'm committed. I'm gonna stay put in this stand and I'm gonna go home with him or I'm gonna go home empty-handed. 
The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by PyramidAir.com, Liberty Safe, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Castle Rock Outfitters, and OpticsPlanet.com. The High Road will be right back. We just had what may be the biggest typical buck I have ever seen in my life come in. He came in and did everything right except give me a shot. We've been sitting out for three days. And then all of a sudden, bam, something happened this morning and it is going on. It's like somebody flipped a switch. I think a lot of that's due to that storm coming through tonight too. Yeah. They just kicked him in gear again. I mean, that's that, seriously, that's the biggest typical frame buck I've ever had my gun on. I just couldn't, I just didn't have a good shot at him. Definitely the dominant buck too. You see him chasing all the other deer off, mm -hmm. making all these scrapes and playing with the branches. And now nothing. There's nothing out here. It's like they just took off. And so anyway, we got we got plenty of coffee. We got a heater, and we're going to stay put. The morning is young. One of the great things about hunting at Legends Ranch is you get to see so many deer and they're just being deer. You can see how they react with each other. You can see them making scrapes, making rubs. You can see the does making their pecking order. It's just phenomenal just watching deer being deer in the wild. Got him. Here goes. You there? Yep. He's down. He's down. What do you think of that? The, uh, we've got a huge snowstorm coming in tonight, a huge one, coming off Lake Michigan. We've been hunting for the last three days out here, and literally we have not seen, that we've seen more activity today than all three days added together. Now, I guess the cold front is what's got them going. And we saw that guy this morning, we got a ton of footage of him, but he was back in the brush. I couldn't get a shot. I had a head shot at him, but I could not take a good shot at him, so I wouldn't take it, I wasn't gonna risk it. And then all of a sudden we look up and he's coming right down through the trees where he was this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Holy cow. I had no idea this is how big he was. I mean, Legends Ranch is phenomenal. The deer are incredible. Look at this guy. And you know, that's the cool thing about coming to Legends Ranch. I've been coming up here for almost 20 years now. And I can tell you that it's not about just coming up and killing a big deer. It's about a big time. It's about the joy of the hunt. And you're gonna be able to see whitetails in the most pristine whitetail habitat ever. And be able to take your time and be patient, and be able to savor it. And we appreciate you watching. And again, Adam, I appreciate you. And I appreciate the folks here at Legends Ranch more than you can imagine. And Mr. Whitetail, I really appreciate you too. This has been one heck of a hunt. And I guarantee you, I'll be back. Oh, look at here, look at here. <laughs> Nobody uh, goes to the extreme that uh, the folks do here at Legends about making people happy. From the, uh, from the meals, which are unbelievable, to the wait staff. The wait staff will wait on you hand and foot. 
they've always got a fire lit. That's one of Robert's big things. We have a covered fire pit. It's lit from sun up all the way to sundown. We really take advantage of it and just the stories that are told around it and just the laughter. When you're laughing, you're having fun and that's what it's about. One of the interesting things about coming up here is I like to meet the people that come and talk to them where they're from and how long they've been coming up here. And some of these people have been coming up here to late just as long as I have been. My name's Ted Moran and I'm um, from Florida and I've been coming to Legends Ranch for around 16 years. And it's uh, one of the greatest experiences I've ever done. I've hunted all over the country and uh, Legends Ranch, it's not only the legendary game that you're hunting, it's the people, it's the experience, it's everything about this place. It's uh, really incredible. You know, in Florida, you know, I'm a contractor. I do every facet of the job. And I literally, this year in particular, I work 32 weeks, seven days a week to come up here. It's worth that much to me. I, I absolutely love the place. And I, it's just, uh, it's something to work for. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I love Legends Ranch. <laughs> and so when you leave here, you're leaving friends. And yeah, you got a big deer, but you had a big time. And I can't think of a better place to recommend Legends Ranch. It does not compare to any place else. It is on the top of my list. If you have any questions or comments, get a hold of us on our website or on Facebook. I'm always on it, checking pretty much every hour on the hour. So I look forward to talking to you.